there's a little slot here and a slot here. You just get your pry bar in and pop it out. And you can loosen these up. Got the tire off, I'm looking at the caliper. Got to take these two bolts off to get the caliper off. And then I got a, uh, a a bungee cord. I'm gonna hang the caliper up here when I pop out my change out my rotor. These rotors are pretty old and nasty. So I'm gonna change them out with a little upgrade. These are a half inch. Tight. That one's loose. Watch out for your brake line. Yep, there's the there's one bolt, kind of small. This caliper off. You just kind of grab it and angle it off like that. And I don't want to kink this line. You want to be careful. Uh, you can take a look at it. Here, pist pistons are kind of rusted. Uh, looks pretty. Looks okay. I'm gonna, gonna hang this up right here. Then I'm going to wrap a bungee cord around just to make sure it doesn't fall. Get it out of the way. I don't know if they can see that. See me up here. I just hung it up with a bungee cord. Okay. Now, if I was gonna, just going to change my pads, these just oh, they slip right out. I just slip them out. There's one. These don't look too bad, but when I bought my new rotors, I got a new set, so I'm going to go ahead and replace them. These actually still have a little bit of life in them. They're actually pretty good. out should pop right out all they do is they slip right in these don't really have any grease in them they're kind of kind of yucky okay I'm gonna be replacing my rotor so I gotta get these uh, factory clips off right here these little uh, these come with these little clips on the if I had my dikes I'd just cut these off because you don't, I'm not going to put them back on they just put these on in the factories to hold these hold these rotors on while they go down the line assembling so you don't I mean it's up to you if you want to put them back on or not I think personally I don't like them. I think they're a pain. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab some cutters. 
just gonna cut these stupid things off. Actually, maybe I can yeah, just break them like that. There you go. There you go. You know, I'm not gonna reuse these. So. Now that the uh, now that the caliper's off and hanging up, I gotta get the caliper bracket off, and that is these bolts right here in the back. You see? Yep. It's just this bolt. I'm trying to make it where you guys can see. There's a bolt. Put my fingers on it. This bolt here this bolt right here this bracket slips on the inside between the rotor and the, and the knuckle so those look like 15 maybe bigger those are 15 I'm gonna probably gonna have to get a breaker bar for those Yeah. Yep, gonna get a breaker bar. Yeah, that one's on there tight. Oh, that one's on there way too tight. <sighs> Got it. Okay, gotta get this one now. Watch out for the brake lines up here. You don't want to hit them. That one was on a little easier. Okay. Alright, All right, there's that bolt. Okay, got that bolt. Now you just lift this bracket out, set it aside. Now the rotor should slide right off. Now you got to smack it with a hammer. Got a little liquid wrench. I'll screw it on here. Try to help break it apart. Spray this down. Just clean that up a little bit. Here I got a little bit of anti-seize. This is a lubricant 
it's high temperature up to 2,000 degrees it's good. I'm going to put some on there so I don't have to beat it off next time I take it off so I'm just going to put a little bit on there just around here just apply a little liberal little anti -seize. I'm going to wipe up the excess little coating of it here's my new rotor it says front front driver side they got them labeled I'm gonna wipe these down clean them up a little bit they usually come with the coating from the factory spray them down with some brake clean clean them up at least wipe them down These are the high these are the high performance ones and they actually have a coating on them to help keep them from rusting. Let me throw these up. Okay, that's on. Now just, just to hold this on, I'm gonna use one of the lug nuts to cinch her down. Just to hold it on for a second. There, like that, and wipe off the excess. All right, that'll hold it on while you put your bracket and stuff back on. While I have my bracket off, I'm going to clean up these points here and lube them up real good with some anti seize. You can use high temp lube grease if you want, but I like anti seize, it works just fine. It's high temp. Just personal preference. Just got a dab of this. Just put a dab on right there, right there, and right there. You don't want to get this all over your brake rotors and pads. You just want to lube the contact points of the pads. That's it. So wipe up some of it. Just make sure they're not cracked or broken. Sometimes you can pull these pins out and lube them up, but these are pretty good, pretty sealed, pretty good. There you go. I'll, show, I'll pull one off and show you. See that? They're kind of they're kind of crusty in there. I'll go ahead and clean these up. But that's what you want to do. You want to like inspect these, make sure the boots aren't broken, and clean this up and lube them up pretty good. So I'll do that. You just clean up this crap. You got like a little wire wheel, nylon wire wheel. Clean these up real good. And just clean up your slide bolts and put a little anti seized lube on them or caliper lube or high temp grease or something that something that's suitable for this. these up just a dab of grease on them. just put it on here nice and good and you slip it back in the hole and push it down work it a few times see how easy that slides Wipe up the excess, and then just pop that bushing back on. I mean, not bushing. Pop the uh, the rubber piece back on. That one's good. Now you clean up the bottom one. Same thing. got the contact points lubed and wiped down uh, this is where your caliper goes this is the bolts that uh, go inside here I'm ready to start putting those on what you do is you just slip this on and work work it in I'm 
now you just got to find the hole. Alright. I'm going to tighten these 15 millimeter bolts up. Okay. Got my caliper hanging. I'm going to go ahead and take this down. You want to set this up here like this. And hold it. I'm trying to find my C clamp. You want to use a C clamp. They actually make special tools that'll you can set them here and you, you squeeze it and it pushes the calipers back. But just a regular old C clamp will work. This one's a six inch C clamp. And you want to use your old pad. Use an old pad as a as a guide so you don't damage this. Just set that in there and go behind the back. If you just have one and you just do one but this one has two so you just push them both in. Okay can see that and all I did was push those cylinders back in. Here's my new ceramic brakes. These are all the these all look exactly the same. These are brand new ones. These are thick nice pads. This one just you can see how they're curved. One's gonna fit like this one's gonna fit like that and they just simply slip right in here into the bracket like that slip right in the bracket like that all new stuff see how that goes now this should slide right over you don't want to kink the line so Pay attention to how it goes on. And they should slide on. Alright, got them in place. Uh, what do I do with my screws? There we go. Okay, here's that one. Watch the brake line. That'll be good. Okay. Well, that's pretty much done. You throw your tire on and you torque the lug nuts down. These, I know the these lug nuts should be torqued to a hundred foot pounds. And uh, I'm actually going to run inside and find my find my torque wrench, and I'm going to torque, look up the specs, and I'm going to torque all this stuff. I uh, got the book now, looking up the torque specs. The uh, caliper mounting bolts front are 21 to 26 foot pounds right here. The uh, caliper mounting bracket to spindle bolts bolts. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, caliper mounting bracket to spindle bolts is. 73 to 97 foot-pounds that was these bolts and the lug nuts are 100 foot-pounds according to this book so that's what I'm going to torque them to
turn the wheel back. Put the tire back on. It's just kind of snug. I'm going to go do the other side now.